Hello and welcome to the 2023 year at Clydebridge Station and the January 2023 update and first of all a very happy new year to all of you and here's to some great modelling for everybody in the year ahead. You have already just seen as I pan the camera around some of the work that's been done on the layout this over the last few weeks and that's all going to be the focus of this month's update. The stuff that we've got is walkways here, new wall, finish of this wall, new signal gantry, finishing the walkways there, new fence installed there. And that is actually what's going to be the focus of this month's update. As ever, I'll be giving shout outs throughout the video to other people and other layouts and other organisations who you may well be interested in. These uh, layouts and people are, are on the internet so do check them out and the two most popular are of course Everard Junction and Dean Park Station. The layout's far far superior to mine so please go and check them out. Without any further ado, let's get on with this month's update and please thank you very much indeed for watching and if you've got any comments, queries or suggestions, just pop them in the comments below. I just want to first of all draw your attention to that. Now that is not a leaky roof. I came down to the shed this morning, I'm filming this first se sequence here in mid-December during a very uh, cold spell and there was actually a bit frost here in the shed so I've had the heater on and compounding the fact that there's a little bit of a thaw on outside it's actually causing little droplets of water so eventually I'm going to have to perhaps invest in some sort of tarpaulin to protect all of this now thankfully where the water has been dripping, in most cases it's actually just on the road there and it can be easily mopped up with a cloth so there's no problems there. I've had a couple of splatters here but these will dry out um, but as I say I probably will end up having to get some sort of tarpaulin sheeting to protect some of this in such wintry weather again. It's also dripped onto here and onto here but it's not going to matter about here. So that's actually what's happened here. I've got the heater on again. Uh, when I've had days off work, I've been popping down and running the heater for a, a few minutes just to uh, keep everything warm. I've run a couple of locos. Uh, so that's, that's that there. But then of course, um, it's just one of these things. It's a warning for anybody with a shed layout or perhaps a garage layout that's separate to the main building just to watch what you're doing. You never know, if I win the lottery, I might actually um, move house and have a, another version of Clyde Bridge Station, but this time actually um, in a, a spare room where it'll be a bit warmer. Right, anyway, let's get on with this, this first bit of this month's update. Now, the, there's, I've got plenty of stuff from scale model scenery and lip print and gauge master to be getting on with over the next few months. And we're going to start off um, this month's update with two things that I'll be, uh, two walls I'm going to build. I'm also going to finish off this bit here and then talk about what's going to happen with this fence here, but that's going to be later on in the video. Uh, you can see here we've got this. What the problem is here? These aren't down right at all. Now these are going to come up in a later video, and they'll be then put down properly again. But for here, um, the locals are running, rubbing against the side of it, and it has it had to keep getting nailed down. And on a couple of occasions, the locals have actually jammed against this. So what's going to happen here for this first bit is these sections here, right up to here, are going to come up. There we go, just like that. I'm going to keep one section because 
under here is a piece of uh, plastic, grey uh, plastic card that's protecting these dropper wires. That's going to get replaced, that plastic card, with a piece of this grey board. But it'll be sitting a little bit away from the tracks. It, oops, there we go. Sitting a little bit away from the tracks. And what I'll then do is I'll eventually put a little um, electrical cabinet there. Uh, sitting on the concrete. The rest of this comes up and the wall will get built along here. Initially around about here. What will then happen is we'll get ballast put in here and it'll look a lot better than these stupid notches that I've had to cut. It'll give this sort of a, a finished look along here. Eventually there's going to be a, a fencing gate here and here because these are coming away and I've got a fuel tank that I'll build here and that'll sit round about here and we'll maybe do that in February or March <coughs> so that'll come up and this also poses the other issue I'll have I've got to remove some bits of ballast here and then uh, put the wall in and put new ballast in. So that's what I'm going to start doing, getting the rest of this up. It'll also let me see what work I've got to do here to replace the plastic card. One other thing I must mention is that when the wall cr crosses over these cables here, these dropper wires, there'll be a little notch I'll make in the wall so that they can still fit through freely. Right, I'll crack on and do the rest of this, get this up and then we'll uh, install the first bit of wall and we'll see how it looks. There's where we are so far. There's going to be the third bit of wall that's going to need the notch done in it. So I'll plan that out and we'll do that in, a, uh, in the next clip. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Although that'll be filmed on a different day because it's starting to get a bit chilly and I'm going back up to the house shortly. I've not put the coping stones on yet. I'll put that one on uh, once I've got this bit done so you can get to see the full effect of it. Now, I've also noticed I'll probably have to take a little bit of the ballast away here so I can get the, the joining pillars on. Same idea as I've done over on the station. One on this side, uh, two supports on that side. And you can see that's how it looks at the station there. So it's a similar idea, so I'll just need to get a screwdriver and take these away and then I'll be ready for the next bit. I'll probably need to take away some more ballast here as well. So I reckon I'm going to get about five bits done here and I've got to do keep a bit for here. I've got actually eight sections of wall in total, two packs. It's a scale model scenery uh, walling that you're familiar with already. You'll have seen me doing that in the previous video. Two layouts that are definitely indoors Check out Jason's layout at Barnabas Junction, his is in the loft and if you're a fan of direct trail services you'll definitely love this layout. And also check out Craig, um, his layout is called New Durham Junction, he's in the northeast of England. Right, I'll crack on, get the coping stone on there first of all and get this bit ballast removed and then we'll show you how we're going to try and sort this bit out here and once I get the wall installed we'll use this bit of concrete that I've kept over to make the plinth that the um, cabinet is going to sit on. Right, so here we are. I've got this part here ready and you can see where the cables go under. So what I need to do is just cut a little notch in that and then start gluing the other three bits on there and cut the notch out of them so the cables can pass through freely and then before we build the next the fourth bit of wall along here we'll stop so I can actually get the concrete plinth made that will sit here and allow the cables to go under and that will allow me at a later date to put in a junction box and there you go so you could just see there it's not much that needs to come off I'll get that done off camera and obviously get that built on and 
we'll then get the that piece done and we'll make up a concrete plinth. And I've kept the bits here that are too cough because obviously I might need some of them later on for uh, supporting these bits here as well. That's for a later date. Just how later or sooner is of similar matter. Right, let me crack on. Well, there's a coping on that first bit there. And then you can see I've laid the ballast up to a good bit, almost up to here on in the second bit. I've just that's not quite glued on right, but anyway, it's staying there. So we're up to here, and this is the bit that I'm talking about. So this is one of the, the concrete sheets I've kept the now. And I think if I sit it there, that'll do it very nicely. It won't go all the way to track level, it's the right width, but it won't go all the way to the track side. It'll probably come up to almost the sleepers, I think it's probably the best bit. And then what I'll need to do is just create the bits to stick it onto so it's slightly raised. And then I'll get it glued into position. So at least I know I've got the right width, I just need to get the right length now. And... So there's a little mark on just there, I think you can just see. So possibly just after that mark will be absolutely ideal. Now two layouts to go and check out. Um, March West TMD and West Blythe MPD. Both depot layouts, so go and give them a check out here on YouTube. Right, I'm going to go and get this bit done. Um, I won't have the junction box on it, but as soon as I get this bit done, I'll get coping on here. And then what I'll do is I'll, for a test run, I'll bring in uh, 47701 and we'll have a little check just to make sure everything's all right. Now there's the plinth down and I've put more ballast down, not, not right up to the end, just up to here. And I'll put the coping on another time, but I've obviously got to get the cabinet in there at some point in the future. I've not put ballast down here because obviously this stuff is going to be coming up. Um, at a later date to allow the walkways to be redone because you can see that they've got more bounce in them than a the car suspension and that's not right and that's actually one of the reasons why I took them off here now I've already tested 47701 along here once so I'm just going to bring her back in again and then I'll park her up at the fueling point 47701 of course is the only locomotive in the fleet that carries Network South East delivery so do go and check out the Network South East Railway Society on Facebook and their own website nsers.org well, That looks pretty realistic now and you can see there that it ran in smoothly, no problems at all which is exactly how I wanted it to be I've got one more piece of walling I can make in this in the pack that will get me up to about here. And I then got the second pack which will allow me to carry on a bit more and I've obviously got the bit of walling to do here too. And obviously we're going to discuss what's going to happen here with this bit fence, not this, but this bit fence here just shortly. So I'm going to get on and get the rest of this walling done and get the coping on and we'll check out where it looks. It's going, to have, it's going to be a few days before I'm going to even be able to glue the ballast down because of the severe cold weather right now. But I hope it gives you an idea right now how it's going to look. And as I say, once this is all sorted, which will be in a, a later video, probably for the February update, uh, when I build a fuel tank for here, then you'll actually see a, a lot more improvements and it'll look a lot, lot more realistic. So that's the wall in place. I've stopped up here and I've adjusted this piece of concrete for the simple reason that obviously it's still got to be some sort of walkway for the staff. So that's been adjusted and put back in place and ballast will go in there eventually. Not yet though. This ballast here has got to be glued down and I managed to find one of these. I believe it's a Wills kit. Got a use plastic cement to glue it together. I've not glued it down and I'm not going to glue it down and I'm going to leave it like that. May replace it with something else. You'll also notice I've had an experimentation with the walkways. I'm going to put these 
on the Railway Modellers Club photos and get people's thoughts and see whether I need to go and put a second layer down just to bring it up in height a bit but they've been cut to approximately 1.5 centimetres wide so that's what um, I'll be doing, I'll post photos of that on the Railway Modellers Club I've moved the locomotive out of the way now so I can get the, the ballast glued in, I'll get that done that'll take about a week because of the weather conditions at the moment to dry and we'll then have a look at that afterwards and just see what's happened and if this is all correct then this is going to be getting done in the February update for here, here and here as well as building the fuel tank and making a start on the new retaining wall so there'll be plenty to get done in, in the meantime so I'm going to get ready, get the glue made up and we'll get that ballast done once you've seen this video, go and check out a video by somebody from London, a singer called Honest Jones. And what I've done is I've put the link to his video uh, called Modest up there, so you'll be able to go and check that out. And check out my good friend Greg Marshall's layout, Gordon's Lane. Um, Honest Jones filmed his video in North London in Finchley, North Finchley. Greg Marshall's on the other side of London in Beckenham near Kent, so go and check him out as well, his layout, Gordon's Lane, that's here on YouTube. And so what I'll do is I'll get the ballast glued down, and we'll come back to that later on in the programme, because we'll then uh, add a couple of signs in as well here. So stay with me for a few minutes, and then we'll see how this is all turned out. That's the glue down on the ballast, and I had a little bit of extra PVA glue made up, so I've actually put ballast in here and started to glue that down. So that'll take us uh, up with ballasting up to here. You could see some of the ballast hasn't been glued down, but hasn't had glue put on it because it's already existing ballast, and I've got it all the way along to the end here. The walkway. Well, this is it here. I took advice from uh, several people. Jason Griffiths uh, runs Barnabas Junction and Brian Finn that runs Finnerton Central. Because uh, I originally had it one layer thick, but as you can see I've now got it up to three layers thick. And I've just simply re reused the old sheets. Uh, so I've not had to buy any extra grey board. Whilst I've got grey board purchased, that's actually for the this project here. So I've got it up to fuel point level, so it's three layers thick. And then I've infilled it with ballast. Now you'll notice I've filled in ballast here and I've glued that down, but you'll notice I've not glued this ballast here down. The reason being, as I filmed this today, I've only just finished putting that in, and the Yoohoo glue, I want to give that some time to set before I go and uh, start putting PVA water mixture in so that's going to take several days so the gluing of the ballast here will be a job that will be done another time and it will give me a chance to just correct any imperfections before I glue it down now we're going to let that ballast glue in we'll come back to the depot later on because I'm going to actually install the signs a couple of signs as well later on here but as I say that will be after the ballast is glued down we're going to turn our attention now to finishing the wall at the station and doing a little bit of landscaping work there and also fence work as well. And I mentioned to you there Finnerton Central, he's on YouTube so if you go and check him out please, he's actually also on Facebook as well. Right, from the depot to the station. You may remember in the previous update I was building this wall here and it obviously ran out of uh, walling. That's why I purchased more, not just to do the depot area but to finish off this bit here. What I'm going to have to do is clear this bit here and then we'll get the wall curving in. This fence is going to come out as well because what we're going to do is I've got some more of this. That um, it's quite a big build, so I'm going to uh, do that off camera, and then we'll get it installed. It'll have to be spray painted grey. Luckily, I've got that. 
get it installed onto here because it'll look a lot better than this here, I think really for obvious security measures in the real world. I'll probably need to glue down some more um, rubbish here, I think of the word, but anyway, I'll probably need to get some more landscaping materials glued down and then we'll get the, that'll be done after the wall's installed. Now, you're very familiar with the wall already, so there's no need for me to go and explain it again. I'll just carry on and get the wall installed, and then we'll have a look at the getting the fence done. There's the wall in place. I've had to obviously bend it, and I've put a bit of Yoohoo glue on the baseboard as well once I've got this into position. I'm not quite happy with it. I may have to end up super gluing that. We'll find out later on in the video, and I've also finish the landscaping works here, so that ballast the, and the bushes are all got PVA glue in them, we'll see how they look, that again it'll take a few days to dry and we'll see from there what it's like we won't muck about with the fence then now because um, obviously I want to get other things done, I don't want to interfere right here right now when the glue is drying so we'll come back to the fence, and what we'll do instead is we'll go and we'll do the walkways and signal gantries. And I'll explain to you about what's going to happen here to help make it look a lot better. There we go, so that's that in place there. I've got more landscaping to add, and what I'll do is we'll come back to this area later on in the video, because I've got the... Uh, a landscape here to do and I'm going to have to wait um, and get to the shed at some point to build this so it can actually go along there and there so that'll be getting done as well this sign will come out too but we'll say we'll get to that later on get that on there in the meantime, what we're going to do next is we're going to stay here and go on to something else. Now you're all very familiar with this signal gantry that I built here, and you're all very familiar with this single arm one. But the other single arm one was way down, it was obstructing the locomotives from getting under, so we're going to get another goalpost one installed here. It's not as straightforward as it sounds, of course, because I'm going to have to remove some ballast uh, in order to be able to do that. So it's not, as I say, it's not as straightforward as what it could be. One other key difference is it'll only need um, two... Uh, uh, signals, not three. The third one will be kept as a spare and it will likely end up going over here uh, at some point, moving that one across. So that's the plan anyway. But most important is to get this built. And then um, after this we're going to do the walkway here and get that uh, complete. So I'll get the signal gantry out and we'll have a look at it. Well here's uh, some of the bits you're already familiar with and this is actually the runner that goes along the top. And what I've done is, I've measured using this runner over on the far side and I've been able to scrape away some of the old small ballast there so that when it comes to installing the, the goal post in position it should just go straight in without any need for any alterations, or at least that's the plan anyway or removal of more ballast and then it'll just be a case of gluing it down it'll need to probably be held in position for a few days so that will be of course one other challenge we've got the LEDs here but these of course are going to be non-operational on this layout so they'll actually get put into position in here and then I'll clip them off and that'll be them ready. If you are actually going to build this for real, by the way, um, 
it does actually make make the point here make sure to solder a cable to all the positive prongs individually the long prong on the LED is positive 3.3 to 5 volts only recommend resistors that's what it says just there that's if you're actually going to be wiring this up to the mains so just be very careful you can get a two aspect or three aspect signal uh, we're going for three aspects here I'll get the lights ready and then we'll have a look at it from there. There's where we are with it so far. Now I must confess I can't find my track cutter so I'm going to have to look for that and get them trimmed off. Um, I had a bit of a job getting the feet onto one of these and I had to take this mast out and then glue it back into position so there's a little bit of a, how can I put it, a hunky dory state at the moment. The glue is drying on that, so rather than me carrying on the now with it, I'm going to leave it to dry and come back to it um, tomorrow as I film this, and then that way I'll at least um, have had time to set properly, and then I'll be able to start measuring it up before I do any more work. Measuring up, of course, being making sure that it fits over there. So that's what I'll do. Uh, in the meantime, if you're on the lookout for some uh, other layouts to actually go and enjoy then you might want to give a, a check out um, to a layout that's actually um, proven very popular on YouTube and that's Chadwick Model Railway uh, run by Charlie Bishop so give him a check out right I'm going to crack up, uh, go upstairs and come back to this the next day and we'll see where we are with it now that's it in position there what I've done this time is I've actually stuck a bit of SMS grey board down and just see that there onto each bit. It just raises the level of it a little bit and I'll just put it back down here and that's going to be the sort of position it will sit in. Something like that. I still can't find my track cutters. They'll be kicking about somewhere. I'm going to rush for them. So that's what's going to happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this glued down into position and then I'll start adding the other features on. That will then be left to dry and then we'll do the final bit and get the signals on. And once that's done, that'll be that gantry complete. Now, as I say, this has come from lip print and as I say, I'll, I'll put the, dis the link to their uh, eBay page in the description below. So I'll crack on and do the rest of this. That's that signal gantry now in place. Everything's held up very well. One problem you'll see is that obviously when I've been trying to clip these off, I've broke the sides of them, so I'm going to have to fashion up something in, in a later time. I'll zoom in the camera so you can see what I've done. I'll fashion up something later on, like a box type structure that I'll use to um, hide all that get sprayed black coat. I'll be done with spare grey board but that's pretty much it. Well it's not glued down there yet but that's deliberately been done because I'm wanting to leave that to set. I had to leave that to set for 24 hours and I'm not going to glue it down for another 24 hours because the next job is going to be doing these signal, uh, these walkways here, get this finished off. Now whilst I remember I've as I film this section right now on the 1st of January 2023 um, I've got a new follower on Instagram his name is leahbarufato.music go and check him out so um, please, he's a really great singer go and check him out he's uh, from South America but he lives now in London so uh, do a little shout out for him Right, we'll go in and we'll get on with the next thing, <coughs> building the walkways. Okay, this is the anti-slip walkway that you're all familiar with, that I've used already on parts of the station area, which I'm going to use again here. Uh, there's a product number for it, and by the way, as, um, as I've already mentioned earlier on in the video, links to 
the items that I've used are in the description below. You'll need um, a few things for this. And that's how it comes in, all created. So you'll need quite a few things for it. I'll open it up in a minute, actually. But one important thing you'll need... Laser cut kit glue. And you'll see there, I just have to move that a little bit. That there is a piece of damp tissue paper. So when you're using the glue, you put it in upside down and it stops it the nozzle from getting clogged up. So that's what that's all about there. I'll get this opened up and I'll make a start on building it. And um, I should actually point out as well that it does come supplied with signs um, for uh, as warning signs, which I will be using on this um, project as well. Here we have it then. This is your basic walkway section. Sheet 1 and sheet 2. And what you would do is you would uh, use sheet 1 here. This is your top bit. And this would get uh, glued onto it. And sheet 2 goes underneath. And there's more bits for sheet 2 in case you want to raise the level of them anymore. And these are the signs that are supplied. I won't be using the high speed ones, I'll just be using these ones here. Anything that's left over walkway wise, I'll actually be using here in the depot area as well. I think I've got actually a plan for that. Um, well, we'll come to that later on. It makes 66 centimetres, uh, or a maximum of 66 centimetres, and some of the things you may have to actually end up adapting as well. I'm going to go and start building this, and then we'll have a look at it just after that, okay? Right, there we have. I've had to move the train out of the way now so I could get into the job and do it properly. But they've got that down now. All that's got to be done is to put some more ballast just in here. I'll then leave everything for 24 hours, and I'll come down the next day, and I'll get that glued down. So whilst that's then drying, and whilst the... The PVA water mix is drying. We're going to turn attention to here and get this fence replaced uh, along here with this sort of stuff. This sign is going to be replaced as well and we'll get the vegetation in here all finished and sorted out as well. So that's the uh, next and uh, hopefully final bit of this month's update. Okay, I know it might look a little bit battered and confused now, but trust me on this one, honestly. The fence that you've seen here, you're going to be quite familiar with because it's the stuff that I've already used um, over here in parts. And what I'm going to do is replace this fence here, here and here with that type of fence. Now, there's a couple of uh, other things that will be done. Eventually, this lamp post is going to be replaced with a proper streetlight type one. And this sign is going to be taken out and replaced with another one. And it'll actually be sitting on pillars such as these ones that are supplied from scale model scenery. So the first thing we'll do is we'll remove that. Don't need that anymore. It's a bit fiddly for me to show you all of this on camera. However, what I'm going to do is get the first bit cut and made up. Then once the glue is dry, and that'll take a few minutes, I'll go outside with it because I'm going to be spraying it grey and then I'll get holes made to actually stick it into the ground. And then we'll get another bit that'll go along here and a third bit for here. Obviously, the depot itself, there'll be a, another one here somewhat about here I think there you go there's also gates supplied with it and in addition to that I've actually ordered extra gates because I'm going to be using gates here and a little bit of fence and eventually these gates here are going to get replaced with um, the SMS type 
that's obviously all for another uh, day and another video. So I'm going to crack on and get the first bit measured and installed. And whilst I'm uh, doing all of that, I want to give a shout out to uh, Groveland Junction uh, model railway layout here on YouTube. So please go and check him out. Okay, I've come outside just for a couple of minutes um, because I'm going to actually now spray the fencing and I'm using this, this is Halford's grey primer I actually had it left over when I had a, a black car this was the primer you used if you had to do any repainting so it, it's it's there, I've got it and it'll do just the job so what I'll do is I'll give it a couple of thin coats two or three thin coats one way turn it over, a couple of thin coats another way and then I'll take it inside the big shed my DIY shed, or garden shed rather and it'll take a few minutes to dry even though I'm working outside I'm still going to wear goggles and a mask when doing this so should you the fences are actually drying right now so I've had a go at building one of the gates uh, you get two gates in a pack uh, this has still got to be painted yet and I'm actually you who glued the gate to the gate post and then I'll have to take it out and paint it once I get that painted and left to dry for a bit I'll then attach that to the fence I'm only building one half of the gate the now uh, the gate side the now because uh, obviously I've still got to put the gate on the other half here as well and I'll have to try and work out uh, where I'm going to uh, put certain things the gate it's because obviously I've got a fence here to install and I've got the gates to install too and I want to make sure I get them sort of right to give you an example here there the van just fits through there put that back on there and the, the, the mark on escort or Mark to Escort, Richard Warren, Everard Junction, do correct me on that. They both fit through there, no problem. So obviously I've got all that to take into account, and I haven't got rid of this gate yet. I'm, I may end up, I may end up having to use that as well as a sort of pedestrian entrance to the depot. Possibly something like that, and then the gates are crossed. So that's going to actually be. A, a careful piece of judgement so I'm going to go out and get that sprayed in a few minutes but I'll obviously bring the first lot in first and get it installed now one of the locomotives I've got in my layout she's downstairs right now is 47701 in Network South East Livery my last shout out for this video we've mentioned a Network South East based layout is a Network South East based soccer commentator Ian Crocker, he works for Sky Sports and the Premier League World Feed, uh, commentating on Premier League matches in England and uh, SPFL matches in Scotland. So if you can go and check out Ian Crocker as well, Weymouth boy, so he'll remember the Weymouth Key Tramway from back in the day. Right, there we have that in place now, that bit fence. And what I've done is I've actually got the gate opening out the way and their train spotters are prohibited from entering this yard by the way that sign here and that sign which you already see there the, and this one here they were actually supplied by right track signs so give them a check out if you're after because they do um, personalised and customised signs for you I've got a bit of liking down there you can see there a little bit on there as well so what will happen now, we're going to leave all this to dry for a few days and then the last bit is just to simply put in a couple of bits of uh, litter here and then that'll be this bit done here <coughs> and, and that'll be the end of this update and you can just see I've got the glue down there drying so give that a few days but you'll only have to wait a few seconds that's all glued into position everything done and that's that just about dried near that ballast so with that all done that is the January 2023 update from Clyde Bridge station complete 
I had thought I would have this layout finished this year, but I've been reassured I probably won't. The reason? Well, because I've got things that I need to do on the layout this year, so... <laughs> um, I'll explain that to you right now, some of the things that are going to get done this year. We're going to see the work done here on the station platforms, just to tidy them up a bit and get rid of this old... Uh, bits of concrete, doesn't look right at all. There'll be new station lights down here. I may have to order a new one of these departure boards because that's starting to come apart. That was Pritt stick I used rather than Yoohoo. So that's some of the things that's going to be done. And some more station signage, so you'll see some of that this year. We'll carry on working here in the depot to get things done. This hard standing needs sorted, I think. It doesn't look right at all. You can see it all scuffed and torn there. So that will actually maybe come up and be replaced with concrete, like what I've got here. So that's a possibility that that may happen. These walkways are going to get sorted. This back area here, as you can see, it's it's well above the ballast and it doesn't look right, so that's all going to get sorted this year. There's a fueling point to go in there as well. We've got some uh, street lights that I'll have to try and purchase and install for in there. And this retaining wall here looks okay, but in reality, as you can see, bits of it are coming apart there. That may get replaced. I'm probably going to break this up with a couple of advertising hoardings as well. That's something else I'd like to do. But the main thing that's going to get done in the February update is going to be the start of the replacement of this. Dean Park Station has the Great Wall of Dean Park and I'm going to do the Great Wall of Clyde Bridge. Only well, I'm going to make it a bloody sight better than what I've actually done it with it the first time. And that is going to be the main focus of the February update, getting this replaced. Now the brickwork that's going to be used for that is actually going to be this style of brickwork on the tunnel mouth. So you're going to see that in, uh, in the February update and it's going to be to my own design this new retaining wall with these um, outer bits being made up and I'll also have something running along the top there. It's a very complex project, uh, what you're about to see, and it will require the retaining wall sheets to be pinned on. That's why these bits are important, it will actually cover it over, because you can see here we've got it going from different, all sorts of different sites, and it's not really good. The actual current grey board I've got is going to come off, because that will actually be useful for run down here at the depot. Look at the depot shed. If you can see that there. So that's why this work is going to be done. I might actually also build a second version of the Quadrant Park nightclub, make it look a bit better than what it is, but that's a maybe job. And also, um, as we're going along here, uh, I may get some more people for right in here. And I'm also going to put a little Wrangler sign in the the window of the Slater's uh, shop there, which is a reminder of course that you can buy Wrangler products online at wrangler.co.uk or you can buy them in Slater's menswear if you so wish. There we go. And um, this is actually coming forward a bit so I'm going to do something with it this year to try and push that back a bit. I have a cunning plan that I'm thinking of uh, doing to to possibly get that sorted, but we'll, we'll come to that at some point in the future. Yeah, that's work in progress, but, we'll, but I can try something out with that in 2023. But next month it's all about this, it's all about the depot, uh, the depot wall, the retaining wall there, one big project, and that'll take up the February update. So I hope you've enjoyed this month's update and if you have please um, like, comment and subscribe both on here and on Facebook and we'll see you next month. In the meantime please whatever you're doing do take care of yourselves and enjoy your model railways and enjoy your layers. Goodbye for now.